Hi guys, so today we're gonna make probably one of the favorite desserts of the Chiappa household. It's our bread and butter pudding, but in true style, we're putting our Italian twist on it and we make it with panettone. Now, probably you guys get one given for Christmas and have no idea what to do with it. Well, this is the recipe for you. First thing first is we're gonna make our kind of eggy mixture. It involves six eggs, 700 mils of milk and 70 grams of caster sugar. Whack it all into a bowl and just mix it together. So I think three slices for my dish here is probably good to go. So we're now gonna add the butter to our bread and butter pudding and just butter up our slices. As much or as little as you want. I think that's good enough. So just gonna, again, like I said before, layer them in our dish so they're slightly overlapping so we've got really good chunks of bread. Final, final step, adding our eggy mixture over to our bread to make it our bread and butter pudding. Now it's really, really important that we use a sieve at this point. It just captures any egg that hasn't been mixed in. Now there is a little cooking technique here. What you do need is a bigger dish and we're gonna cook it kind of bain-marie style. The reason for this, it makes sure it's nice and evenly cooked and also cooks it very well from underneath too. So we're just gonna add some hot water into our bigger dish here. Don't fill it up too much because it's obviously gonna rise when we put our dish in. Then grabbing our bread and butter pudding and popping that in. This goes in our preheated oven of 160 degrees to cook for about 40, 50 minutes. So this has just come out of the oven. It smells delicious and looks delicious. We've got a nice golden sheen over that. We're gonna leave it to cool. And then to finish the dish off, it's as simple as smothering it in kind of warm apricot jam and giving it a nice sprinkle of ice and sugar. So I've got a little saucepan here on the heat, medium kind of heat. We're just simply gonna add about four tablespoons, but you can add more or less, again, as much as you want and just melt and heat this jam a little bit to just make the jam nice and loose so it's a lot easier to spread on. So I'm just gonna smother our bread and butter pudding with our warm apricot jam and smoothing it all over so it covers the entire pudding. Final, final touch is to give it that nice little dusting of ice and sugar. Last thing is to obviously give it a good taste. It is probably the dessert we all fight over in this house, so. Oh, well. oh I could eat it all day. Oh, it's so good. So there it is, the Kiappa's bread and butter pudding, courtesy of Mama Kiappa, as always. It's, like I said, one of the best desserts ever. If you like this video and recipe, make sure you give us a thumbs up and send us lots and lots of comments, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.